So let's um, wrap up the first part of the slides by um, quickly looking at an example here, which will show a few different things. So we've got a heat exchanger here. We want to drive the maximum temperature at the outlet to be 30 degrees C. And we want to adjust the wall temperature of the cooled pipes. We'll do it every fifth iteration so that we give the flow a chance to settle down. We don't want to um, do things every iteration because that has, a, has a, um, a tendency to be rather lumpy and maybe not uh, quick to quick to um, convert as quick to converge. So what we can do here is we can adjust the wall temperature. So we can start with a guess and then we can adjust it so that um, based on our, our target difference and a relaxation factor. And so um, hopefully as these two get closer together, we will be adding a smaller and smaller change to this and it will converge. And we'll do it every fifth iteration. So um, what would our expressions look like? Well, we've got um, some inlets. So we've got our inlet air, our target temperature we want for the outlet. We want the starting temperature of the walls. Let's do a relaxation factor. We need a heat transfer coefficient to um, put heat into the flow based on the wall temperature. Um, in this case, it will be going out into the cold pipes. Now, we want to do things um, every fifth iteration. So we can say here that if the modulus of iteration and five, so that will pick out 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, if that's greater than naught, switch it to zero. But if it's zero, make this one. And the nice thing is we'll be able to plot that in a second. This is the maximum outlet temperature that we're shooting for. So the target we want is the maximum static temperature at the outlet. This is um, what the um, external temperature needs to be on the wall. If we've got the surface heat flux, then we take divide that by the heat transfer coefficient. That gives us the delta T. We add this one on the right hand side to get the T external. We can get an area average over the tube of the temperature. We can set up that equation for adjusting. And we can set an if statement here so that if it's before the first five iterations, then this exit um, external temperature is set to be a constant. And after that, it becomes this adjusted one. So we've got all our variables in here. We can go through the uh, expression manager, checking them and setting them up. We can test, for example, that we've set this up right. So we want to do make something non-zero every fifth. It's also going to have one um, there. So um, 5, 10, 15, 20, et cetera. So we've got our logic right. We can um, go in here and and put a heat transfer coefficient in here rather than the number so that we're actually um, using the expression that we've got. We can put free stream temperature that we're going to calculate in here in this convective boundary condition on that wall. We can um, create a surface report with this. Um, and we can have a look at um, in an expression report where T adjust is going to be plotted. So this is just a standard one we're going to create without using expression. Here we're going to create one using an expression just to be different. Um, so um, now we're setting those up to go into files, etc. the data. So if we solve the, the flow with localized um, scaled residuals, 
so the flow converges down really nicely. Obviously, the energy equation is very lumpy to start with because we're making adjustments which throw the residuals off. But as we get closer and closer to convergence, those adjustments are getting smaller, particularly as this height might be constant, but it's on a log scale. So it's actually getting smaller and smaller. This is what the um, T max is. The black line is being plotted. This is what the target was. So we can see it's coming down. This is what that uh, external temperature has to be. And then we can see what the adjusted temperature is here and how it's actually um, flattening out to a constant value. And that's our um, final solution. So um, you can see in that example, it's quite possible to do um, even simple, even simple logic in these expressions now. 